Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the next topic is speed control of DC motor. Speed control of DC motor. Okay. The speed control is very very important part. Speed control because for any motor we have so many application by varying the speed. So different different applications have different different speeds, and we have some methods to control the speed. So to understand the speed control, we have a some relation that is speed is always proportional to the back EMF generated in the armature and inversely proportional to the flux. Here you know the back EMF is nothing but voltage minus armature drop by the flux. By the flux. So by using this phenomena, we have so many number of met we have number of methods to control the speed of the any DC motor. Okay. So in this generally we have types of speed control. Types of speed control is below methods. The first is flux or field control method. So it is just observe here. This is the flux by varying this flux. We can vary the speed here. Generally, it is useful for above rated speed. Above rated speed. So every machine has the rated speed. In order to increase above the rated speed, it should be useful. Next method, armature resistance control. Just look at here. This is the armature resistance. By varying this, we can vary the speed. So it is for below rated speed just here the below rated speed next armature voltage control just look at here by varying this voltage we can vary the speed we can vary this speed this is v is nothing but armature voltage so this is also for below rated speed for below rated speed Okay, yeah, so just, uh, just we have the relation by observing these, this relation, we are getting these types of speed control, types of speed control. In this first, we will discuss about the flux or field control, flux or field control, right. So to understand this flux control, Flux or speed control. So we have to use a DC shunt machine. So this is the shunt winding. This is the shunt winding. And so this is the external resistance. To by varying this external resistance, the shunt current will be varied. Then the flux will be varied. Okay. This is the input voltage applied to this. Yes. So to understand this, just find out the shunt current value. Here we can write the shunt current is the voltage drop across this and the resistance. The voltage drop is V, the resistance is shunt resistance plus external resistance. External resistance. Yeah. Here you know that the speed is inversely proportional to the flux speed is inversely proportional to the flux so by varying this flux speed can be varied but in it starting only we observe that we give the statement it is only for above rated speeds so just observe here flux can't be controlled above rated speed because more saturation and more hysteresis a decurrent losses more temperature rise how just look at here it is flux can't be controlled above rated speed so just observe here if the flux is increases the flux is increases what happen automatically 
the core becomes saturated after that flux increment is very very difficult okay just look at here if it is the rated rated current at frequency rated the flux will be rated rated flux will be generated that means up to rated if you vary the field current the flux will become constant flux will become constant after that if you increase the field current flux will become the saturation although you are increasing the rated field uh, field current but flux will become constant it becomes saturation it is very difficult to above the rated above the rated not speed this is the speed is not rated flux it is not possible to increase this area so that's why we should decrease this area yeah if you increase this what happen the flux is whenever the flux is increases you know both core losses hysteresis as well as eddy current losses will be increases whenever the losses increases the temperature also increases so it will adverse effect on the machine right so by using this method flux is controlled only below rated value so flux is controlled below rated below rated only right thereby speed can be controlled only above rated speed so flux is the so speed is above rated above rated we can control it why here speed is inversely proportional to the flux only if it is decreases it will be increases due to the following limitations so already discussed the limitation one is the saturation non linear control and more iron losses and more copper losses and the more heating effect reduction in efficiency these all problems are come in when the flux is above the rated speed that's why flux is increased only below rated speed flux also can't be controlled below a particular value a flux can be decreased but we have some particular value it is not possible below that because the effect of armature reaction is more if flux is decreases more and more what happen more and more armature reaction also more what is the meaning of armature reaction armature reaction is armature flux will affect on the main field flux is known as the armature reaction that's why weaker the field flux field flux become weaker therefore poor commutation sparking at the brushes whenever the weaker field flux automatically commutation will become the poor and the sparking at the brushes is possible so these all are the adverse effects at low value of the flux speed is we have another problem dangerously high dangerously high then motor can't withstand for high centrifugal force so we it will get more centrifugal force generally the speed control is 1 is to 2 ratio and 1000 to 4000 it is variable so what happen the flux is decreases the speed will be increases more it is very low value means it is very high whenever is speed is very high it will get more centrifugal forces on the rotor then the rotor will defect and this is the one condition we have the another condition if the flux is decreases what about torque value torque also decreases because flux is the major part in the torque and why what is the reason torque is proportional to flux into armature current it will be decreases means torque will also be decreases right so if you draw the speed versus so what happen what about power power if you look at the power speed and torque the flux decreases speed decreases and torque increases both will compensate together and power become the constant power become the constant there is no problem with the power so under flux control method 
the machine will behave as a constant power and variable torque drive why we are taking this this is about the speed axis and this is the power and torque axis so if you look at here it is only above rated speed that's why the power is constant here and the torque will be decreases okay right and if you take some if you take some some relation that is if you take the n to n to is like this so it, it is e b2 by from n2 by n1 just you take e b2 by this is the pi 2 and the e b1 by pi 1 it is a relation so it will give the relation between two speeds n2 and n1 both so so this is about the the speed control the flux control how to control the speed by using the field flux okay the most important thing field flux is only controls above rated values okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you